Senator Weger. Thank you, Mr. President, members. I believe the bill before us will cost about $3.3 billion when you go to reinsurance, unemployment insurance, uh, the tails for these investments, uh, there's not much left. And what greatly concerns me is what about public education? I call your attention to Article 13, Section 1 of the Minnesota Constitution. When we were sworn in, we rose our hand and we swore that we would uphold the Constitution. There's reference in there on a right to education, a duty by the legislature to provide it through taxation or otherwise with a thorough and efficient system of public schools. So here we are in the moment. What's going on in public schools? There's a mental health crisis in public schools, and this was pre-COVID. We have a teacher shortage, especially in special education. In fact, recruiting bus drivers is a challenge. The whole team is stressed. A record number of teachers, so sadly, are leaving the profession. We have a shortfall in special education funding. Special education should be fully funded for those students. Nearly 17% of Minnesota students are in special ed, a right that they got in Congress in 1975. But it is underfunded by over $800 million. In the budget target, there is zero, zero. And special ed students are underfunded in then what we call a cross-subsidy to make up for it of over 800 million. English language learners, the same, about 125 million underfunded. What about new immigrants that may be coming over in quest for freedom, maybe from Ukraine, which we say we all support? What about funding, fully funding English language learners? The formula, what all school districts depend on, 60% of the funding. The budget target, zero. Special education, as I mentioned, zero, E-L-L, -L, zero. But the Constitution, through taxation or otherwise, asks us to address this responsibility. And yes, it's a mandate. We are expected to do this. So when you look at what the Republican majority is proposing with the tax bill and the other provisions in their budget, public schools are being thrown under the bus. It's shamefully inadequate. It's defunding public education. On that point, Many school districts right now, notwithstanding the increase that we had last year, school districts are telling us, you have not kept pace with inflation. And this is from organizations representing the school districts, the business officials, and they go back to 2003. Public education is being underfunded and there's consequences. Who's going to speak up for the special education students, for the English language learners, for the teachers that are leaving, that are stressed, for the students that need mental health services, more counselors, chemical dependency counselors, nurses, psychologists, the whole staff team. We had a long meeting last night, and yes, there is 30 million in literacy, Thank you. 0.3% of the budget. 
This is totally, shamefully inadequate. And I ask us that to all go back during the break, reach out to your school districts. Well, I know Senator Putnam will. You're married to the superintendent. But talk to teachers, talk to students, talk to parents. What's happening? And look at the budget in Rochester. They're getting pink slips ready. There will be $23 million they're looking at cuts. And I can take you to Bemidji and Brainerd and several others, and we could walk through what it costs on the special ed subsidy for the cross subsidy or for ELL. It's all here. Find out. Talk to them about it. And let's see if we can substantially improve as we hopefully get a resolution to a responsible budget that is fair and balanced for all Minnesotans. Thank you, Mr. President.